Yeah, you're good. 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 Just real quick, the uh, scrimmage, I know a lot of the stuff that I guess the media was talking about, you taking that, that first hit out there in the practice. Uh, how big a deal was it for you, first of all, and was it really a big deal for you? Uh, it was a big deal. I haven't played since uh, October 10th, and just the hard part was mentally. So just taking that first hit, just, you know, I'm sorry, I'm ready, let's go. How did it go? Do you remember the first one? Yeah, I remember. Um, man, it happened, I was just making sure my, my body wasn't bent any other way, so, <laughs> and it was good. Who was it? It was the uh, J.O. J.O. Okay. Yeah. Did, um, nah, he's saying <laughs> Coach Mark said you got a little little ticked off because the refs were blowing the whistle a little early on you. I mean, it, but, you know, why exactly was that kind of bothering you? Uh, I don't know. Just I wanted this to you know, feel as if I'm with the team and play live and get tackled to the ground just for myself, just to get back the feel of, you know, yesterday getting tackled. But, I mean, it didn't really tip me off. I just didn't know why they blew the whistle. Nick, aside from the, taking live hits, what else can you only experience on there live that you hadn't had a chance to in the recovery? Well, I've been doing pretty much everything except getting tackled. So that's probably just about it, other than, you know, just uh, the pace that we go with, just full speed practice. Did you score a couple of touchdowns, and what was it like to get back in the end zone like that? Mm, I scored one. I scored twice, yeah. I bounced from there. I mean, we had a goal line period, so I got it in. So, I mean, it was good. Is it, is it – at this point, I mean, it seems like pre, pretty obvious that you're going to be able to play in the first game. Are you ready to proclaim, you know, yeah, I'm ready, I'm going to play in the first game? It's a little, 90 setback? I mean, it's still a day-by-day -day process, you know, just taking it day-by-day. You know, I feel good, you know, we were doing a lot of things to help my knee out and getting tackled a couple of times, that helps. But, I mean, you just never know until that day comes. Do you feel like there's any part of your game that's lacking right now? Any, anything you're trying to still get back uh, or, or does it all back? No, every day you can get a little better somewhere. So, me personally, just probably, you know, uh, just getting back in the groove, everything is getting tackled and lowering my pass and getting my speed back and things like that. What about physically and how you feel, though? I mean, is there anything that, you know, you feel stiff anywhere or anything like that that you're just still trying to get fixed? I feel good. I Maybe um, maybe the brace, but, you know, it's just different wearing that thing. But I feel good when I have it on. Are you mentally and physically preparing to be ready to go in that first game? We have to prepare both ways, you know. I've kind of prepared if I am going to play, just – I have to get my mind right for it, and if I'm not, I have to accept me not being out there in the first, you know, first game of the season. Yeah, after taking contact uh, on Saturday, is there any uh, swelling or soreness in the knee? Is there anything residual after the fact? Mm, not at all. I feel better actually. Just, you know, just a mental part, mental block, just getting out there. Have you had a situation yet where uh, somebody fast like Juwan Briscoe or something's got a little bit of an angle on you, and you can tell that you, you still got your speed, or have you been able to do that? You know yeah, saying? I still have my speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah me on. Um, I guess, but those guys are fast on the bus side of the ball too. So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel you feel like you you have your top end speed still. Yes, sir. How big of a confidence builder is it, is, or things like the scrimmage to be able to go out there and see that you know you have it in the top of the ball? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot for me to actually go out there and get tackled. Like I said, after that scrimmage, I felt more confident in myself and my teammates and just everyone around me. So, I mean, I think it's good to go out there and um, get a little live ball in. How much do you want to? How much?